But anyway, we're going to talk about Doctor Who again. We're going to end the show on a Doctor Who note. And again, I'm still like a shitty person. <laughs> because you still have I still not. have it. Maybe I'll do it tonight. Even though I say that you every time we talk about it. I'm like, maybe I'll do that tonight. And then I end up not doing it. I will tell you, I'm still playing Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. Nice. As of today, I'm still playing it. So anyway, we got a new trailer. Yeah. With Bill Potts. Bill which Potts. is a dumb fucking name it is for a companion. Not the best Come name. on, Stephen Moffat or whoever made that decision. You can come up with a better name. I mean, Rose Tyler, mm. Martha Jones, Donna mm. Noble, mm. Amy Pond. Mm. You have these, you know, it's, it's all about syllables. It's all about the way they can just roll off your tongue. Okay, but... Bill Potts. Two yeah. single-syllable names. And I know She's you don't... She's cute, though. Yeah, I know you don't like her, but Clara Oswald. Oh, yeah. Still a great name, though. Yeah, it's a good it's a good name. I see, that's... I just don't like Clara, and that's why I didn't even mention her fucking name, yeah. dude. <laughs> but uh, Bill Potts is our that's new companion. Weird, that's just an odd name. Uh, yeah, I mean, she seems to be an odd character because like and that's the thing this this new trailer is her narration for the most part describing uh -huh. what's going on with her and the doctor and all that good stuff so she starts it i'm bill potts i serve chips it shows her like putting out a plate of french fries and it's like oh so so she's like working class yeah working class we can relate to this character and they that's what they did with rose yeah, and, and well, I mean, come on, Amy Pond was a singing telegram. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, Martha Jones, because and hey, Donna was Martha a temp. Jones was a fucking doctor. Donna was a temp. Martha Jones had the best career <laughs> options. Yeah. out of all the companions, and she still went with the Doctor for at least like two seasons, or was it one? It was, was it just, just one season. season? Yeah, it was just See, one season. See, Martha Jones and Donna Noble are my like top two, dude. Okay. Amy Pond, when the Doctor comes back in the 11th hour, is a kiss -agram. yes. But then when he drops her off later, she becomes a fucking model and a journalist. I forgot and about that. Rory uh, gets his degree and becomes a doctor. And yeah, well, like, he was they... at least worked in the medical field. Yeah, he was already a nurse, but like he, he decides to become yeah. an actual doctor. And then what happened to Amy and Rory, Chris? <laughs> Don't remind me. Yeah, at least <laughs> I'm not over it. Martha Jones is alive in her time, <laughs> and it sucks because some of these some of these characters and companions have tragic endings. They really do. Too. Um, I well, don't know shit. about do you Clara yet. I haven't watched that episode. Yeah, but hopefully There's... she dies. Because <laughs> I I was telling her you last forehead. week that I had been <laughs> that I had been watching. <laughs> Rewatching, uh, like seasons, you know, six, uh, five, six, and seven, uh, of of New Who with Matt Smith, uh -huh. and it got into the the Amy and Rory's last season, and there's a line that Rory's dad says to the Doctor, "What happens to them? What happens to the people that you travel with?" Yeah, and the Doctor has to answer that question. Right, he says, uh. Some get left behind, some mm -hmm. die. Some, some end up in an go... alternate dimension with a clone of myself so she some... can have wild <laughs> sex with him. Some go right back to where they were before. Yeah. It's it's interesting, you know, the the poor companions cuz he he has influenced a lot of lives and affected a lot of lives for the for the worse. There's actually a great line in the new uh, I mean the new season trailer uh where he says I'm the doctor, I'm going to save all of your lives, and then you're going to spend the rest of your lives wondering who I was. <laughs> That's true, you know, if, thinking about it. And then some people get, like, obsessed mm -hmm. with, because the doctor is almost this, like, you know, Area 51 type uh, legend amongst some people who haven't met him or aren't really quite sure if he even does exist. Mm -hmm. But they're like the government, they know, you know, Torchwood, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's, it's good. Um, but yeah. Martha Jones, I think, has had probably one of the better endings to her arc than a lot of the companions because hers isn't as tragic. Um, Rose Tyler was left in an alternate dimension. Uh, Amy and Roy got shot back to the past, and I guess they lived out their lives, mm -hmm. but not in their own timeline. Um, let's see, Donna Noble, if she like sees the Doctor again, her brain explodes. Yeah. 
That's and terrible. Probably she takes can't come out back. and probably takes out the entire planet with it. Yeah, you know, um, Martha Jones. She, I love the the alternate timeline where she spread the word of the Doctor yeah. when the Master was the Prime Minister or mm-hmm. whatever, and took over the world and, and spread the spread the word and was this like freedom fighter and had you know recruited all these people. And uh, honestly, Martha Jones was probably one the best. Martha of, Jones was. I mean, awesome. with, uh, like Donna's story is so great. I loved it, but Martha Jones probably had a better character arc and mm-hmm. story than Donna did, if yeah. only because she grew so much as a person. Yeah. Like, the problem with Donna was that after he erases himself from her memories, she just kind of goes back to being Donna. Right. Except and she's I lo- super wealthy. But I love, I love Donna because she was... You know, she never fell in love with the doctor. Exactly. She never tried to get with him. And, and they all have. It seems like every companion has had that moment, you know, where maybe not Clara. I'm not through her whole arc, but yet, but maybe I want to fuck this guy. <laughs> they have that moment. Even Amy Pond did. Yeah. Remember? I mean, that was kind of her whole thing from the very beginning. She was like, I'm going to fucking suck your alien dick. <laughs> But Donna never did. No, nope. she was just like, "Hey, fucking space boy," <laughs> you know. And that's why I loved her so much. And she was so like just sassy and yeah. and just Catherine Tate. Love Donna was Noble. Great. Yeah, Catherine <laughs> Tate. That's the only reason I ever even started watching The Office was because she was in it. Right. And then I fell in love with that show too. It's it's, <laughs> it's a brilliant show. But that was I was like, "Ooh, Catherine Tate's in it," and everyone's like, "What? You watch it because of that British chick that was in like a season?" <laughs> yeah, a season. But uh, what's the other dude's name? James Spader? He was great in that show, too. (laughs) Dude, I'm the fucking Lizard King. (laughs) (laughs) I love his character in that. Right. Oh, man. All right, we got to wrap it up, dude. Yeah. So, but... Who's your favorite companion? Let us know. Oh, yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Let us know all that good stuff. Ultimately, I guess we'll we'll wait and see. I hope she's not a Rose Tyler clone. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't care for Rose Tyler. And I'm going to get shit from a lot of Doctor Who fans. Rose Tyler is, is one of my least favorite characters. Yeah. Period. Yeah. And it looks like this character is going to be kind of a Rose Tyler. She's, she's got a bit of an overbite. She's... <laughs> I mean, that is technically true. The best kind of true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when it's technically true, it's still true. It is. All right. Yeah. So... Like, subscribe, all that good shit. And uh, we'll talk to you folks again in episode 22 of the Dork Age Podcast. 22 episodes.